Welcome, greetings to all, and welcome to this other presentation on uh, a few tricks that will make your life easier in uh, Apex. In this video, we will show you how to build your tables in a faster way. And we are going to use the tables in green the person's table and the lecturer's table. Why the person's table? Because it is what we call in the last videos a simple table with no foreign key. And why lecturer's attribute? Because it's a linked table for this time with one foreign key. Very, very good. The other tables are quite similar, either to this one. And you can see this one is similar to this other one. So we do not have to present them again. As for these two tables, it's exactly the same design like in the last videos. So what makes this presentation different is in this case, the person ID is used as a foreign key. But in the last playlist, it was not the person ID that was used as the foreign key. It was the user ID that was directly, the username was directly used as a foreign key here. Now we are changing it to make sure that the person ID the person ID is a better foreign key compared to the username. Why? Because a person ID is an teacher, it can be incremented and it's directly taken from this primary key. The other difference that we want to point is the fact that your keys are uh, created according to a sequence a new sequence instead of you creating the sequence yourself like we did in the last videos so let us go to our i'm just going to take the name of the table before we go to the apex in apex we will go to the workshop the database is empty. We are an Apex object browsers. In the object browser, you can see we are in the student max database. Yes, and there is no object. So we are going to create a table. And we'll be asked what is the name of the table. We are saying the name of the table is the table persons. Now, what are the attributes? Is person ID, username, full name. So I'm going to write person ID. Person ID is here. Then we said person ID was a number. And then it cannot be null. And uh, the identity of it is the default one. From there, we are going to say username. Then uh, after the username, we are going to say full name, phone, number, gender. Full name, phone number, and then gender. Okay, for the full name, I just put a capital. From there, we have to select the type username is a varchar2 or nvarchar2. And then they will ask us, we don't want it to be null. The scale for the username, we can give him a 20 username. And then for the full name, we can also say that. Nvacha or 
and then the username rather say varchar2 varchar2 20 varchar2 for a username we need a longer one we can say 50 and then not null the phone number varchar2 the phone number is shorter and then we give him also 20 and the gender that one let us make it a character and none of them should be null from here we can go to the next step and in the next step this is where the sequence intervenes in the last video we were using an existing sequence and we are saying no populate from a new sequence and the name of the sequence is automatically created by apex and from there we can say you want us to select the primary key which is the person id it's the one for which the sequence is created and we can go to next now once we are here we are on the table persons that table is a simple table with no foreign key no foreign key so but the user name has to be unique no foreign key so we can carry on next from here we want to check that that colon the username is unique and we can now choose which one if we want to be unique we want to choose the username and we want it to be unique and uh, this is the name of that constraint and we can go to next very very good i think everything is set we can create the table and the table has been created any other table that we wanted to create yes is the table lecturers lecturer id title office number let's look at our time quickly to just make sure that we are not running of our time yes we can carry on to create the lecturer we go to new table then the name of the table is lecturers now, the first one is LID, lecturer ID, and we said the ID is a number, lecturer ID is a number, and uh, shouldn't be null, it is the identity by default, and uh, what did we have in that table, lecturers? We had LID, title, office number, so let's take the title and the office number after the office number the last one is the email no no office number the last one is person id so i'm going to take person id as the last attribute now the title will not be too long. It is a virtue. It is required. Let's not make it too big. Just uh, 10. We never know. And then uh, after the title, the office number. Also, we want it. The office number. Yes, we have to first select is a virtue 2. And we want it to be selected. Let's also make it 10. And uh, the person ID, it is one now. The person ID is a number. And uh, we are saying it is not null. It's not the identity. And from here, we can just go to the next stage. Now that we are here, we want our primary key populated from a new sequence. That's what we said. The name of the primary key is given, a new primary key. And which one is it? It's LID. Then we can go to next.
Now that we are next, there will be at we want a foreign key. Yes, we want one foreign key. This is the name of the foreign key, and that foreign key is coming from here. We push to next. On delete, we see it cascade always. And we can move to the next. Which table is it being ref referenced? It is referencing the table person. Now we are inside the table person. It is referencing this attribute. One well, now that we have made the match, we can go to next. And the foreign key is being created. Anything that we want to be unique on this table, title no, person ID no. The lecturer, can one lecturer have? Yes, the person ID we want it to be unique we don't want two lecturers to have two so we are going to say unique and we will take the condition person id we want it to be unique and then we are done we can now go to the next stage and uh, i think everything is set to create the table and the table has been created Thank you. Thank you, and we'll wait for the next video on how to create views. Thank you. Before we go to the creation of views, we can have a quick look at the sequences that have been created. If we go to sequences, you'll see that there's a sequence for a lecturers table and a sequence for persons tables and uh, we can also try to put a little bit of data in our persons like we did in the other uh, series playlist that we can do it behind the scene thank you